What can you do if you think your child is being bullied? Bullying is the repeated abuse of power, so where a student tries to exert power over another student and tries to make that other student feel uncomfortable or feel miserable. The biggest problem we have with bullying is that students don't say anything, it's kept secret. But there are signs, there's some signs that their child might be um, being bullied are that all of a sudden they don't want to walk to and from school, they start truanting, they don't want to go to school, their academic levels start falling behind, they come home with bruises or torn shirts or torn books, they demand extra money or that they're hungry when they get home, they haven't had their lunch, they become all of a sudden become aggressive to the family pet and irritable at home. If you believe that your child's being picked on or they feel that they are being picked on, it's important that you talk to your child about those issues and that you establish as a parent if they're being picked on or if it's just a matter of them not understanding a situation socially in the correct manner. You need to try and sit them down and get the facts. The best thing you can do is to listen to them and not to overreact, not to become very angry and show your child that conflicts and problems can be resolved in a non-violent, non-aggressive manner. I would say to your child, you need to stay calm. That's the most important because a bully essentially is a, is a power figure. They want you to react, so staying calm. Ask them to stop that behaviour. If that doesn't stop, don't fight physically because essentially they're going to get into more trouble. Let the other person know that you don't like what they're doing. So you have to use words like, I want you to stop doing that, I don't like it. Having the confidence to say no, because children are allowed to say no, I don't want to be involved with that, or I don't like what you have said to me. That may not have solved the concern, the person may persist in doing that. So the boy, um, in my experience, in a, in a boys' school here, a boy has to stand up and go to the next step, which is to say to the person, if you don't stop doing this, I'm going to take it further, which is to report the matter. And it's important that they do report if that continues. If your child is being bullied, then you should contact the school immediately. Our evidence and our research tells us that bullies don't stop bullying. They will continue to do so until something is done about them. Now, a common response parents will get from their kids will be, but it'll make it worse if I say anything. And in the list of possibilities, that is a possibility. It is, it is a chance that a situation could get worse, but it's not going to get better unless they do something about it. So that's the reality, they've got to do something about it. Your school will have an anti-bullying policy and you can access that through the website or directly through your school. Every school has a, a strategy that they put in place to deal with any incidents of bullying. Resilience is an important aspect of dealing with bullying. To develop resilience basically means you have to go through the process of uh, confronting bullies, looking at the issue of your own behaviour and at the end of that you're, you're more equipped to deal with that when it happens the next time. School counsellors can help parents with that. They can teach their child about uh, being assertive, uh, standing up for themselves rather than being aggressive or passive. And you can help your child do that by um, making sure they have a good self-esteem and they're confident about who they are and proud of who they are. As a parent, I can instil confidence into my child by giving them positive comments, giving them positive reinforcement when they've tried to tackle tasks that they haven't succeeded at, that it doesn't matter if you don't succeed, it's that persistence. It's having a go again until you achieve the result that you want. On some occasions, your child might come home and say, I don't want you to tell anyone, but this is happening to me at school. I think as an adult, you have to speak to your child and say, we should make this go away, we have to make this stop and so you have to make a decision to, to say something and do something and as schools we will do something about it and every student has the right to be happy and safe at school. You can ask your school about their anti-bullying policy and you'll also find more information on bullying and cyberbullying at schoolatoz.com.au